God. Uh. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, you young bloods. You young bloods don't know. Y'all don't know how to play Call of Duty. You guys do not know how to play Call of Duty. It's pissing me off. It really is. It really does. At times when I can't play with my full crew, I have to go here and find match and core or hardcore or bonus or whatever. Anytime I'm playing with Randy's or Greenies or Green Randy's or Randy Greenies or Green Guys, what you usually call them, Green Guys, you know, the guys that pop up and I was blue guys or whatever. Anytime you're a random, not part of a party, you're just a random. We assume you don't know how to play Call of Duty because that is common. Now, I don't want to make that common anymore. I want to make everybody aware that you can play Call of Duty the correct way. Now, okay, sure. You know, you know, back over here, they they show, you know, how to jump in the air and do flips and tricks and all that. All that pointless stuff. You know, Ghost, Ghost was horrible too. You know what I'm saying? And this is just my opinion. Now, Ghost, the hit detection is off, and all the jumping and spinning really got you guys off with how to play Call of Duty the correct way. Now, playing, well, for me, playing the first Call of Duty, the actual first Call of Duty, I, I heard some of you guys saying, oh, Modern Warfare is the first Call of Duty. Oh, jeez, get out of here, please. No. The very first Call of Duty ever was a PC. Call of Duty 1, 2, 3, and 4. They taught you how to play the game. Now, when you go into the game, they kind of teach you in certain missions how to play the game, how to like, oh, shoot these aircrafts down or do this, do that. Objectives, you know what I'm saying? Like... And then, you know, in Modern Warfare 1, there was like a little training camp you could do, you know, a little boot camp at the start. I don't know. It's from my memory. It's not a true fact. I don't know. But there are training camps and some of the Call of Duties that have you play and work on your aim. Now, you young bloods now today, you don't play uh, campaign. That's in the campaign. You guys don't play campaign. You go here. Let me show you. Here's a game. It helps you with fixing the screen or whatever what kind of settings you do back then it doesn't do that i had to go into the options and do it myself now it does it for you you're here you're here you do this you go straight to multiplayer and straight to public match or you call up your friends i'm on xbox you call up your friends like oh hey let's play the game sure i never played the game before let's go and do it what that makes no sense come on and they go to find match with three, four, five other people. You go to find match, core, hardcore, straight to bonus, whatever you do. You do gun game, whatever. You guys play horrible. Horrible. Oh my god. It is horrendous. It really is. Horrendous. Now, let me go into custom game to show you guys some fundamentals. Some fundamentals and some mental thinking on how to play the game. Now... Oh, uh, let me go to a DLC map. Okay, new towns chosen already. All right. Now, let's go to team deathmatch. Not really fixed up or anything. 10 minutes, 100 points, sure. Used to be 75, but it changed into 100 points. Alright, let's get some basic guns out of the KN. The CUDA is all right there for you. All the basic guns. Each gun in its class type is really the same way you use it. But each gun is different with its different stats, as you can see in the bottom. With its different stats. But you really use the same gun. The same kind of gun, the same class, the same type of way, you know. So, what the bots were chosen? Bots. Let's do let's do a crazy game. Nah, I'm kidding. What is it? Six. Six. Let's put on recruit. 
because you guys play like you're you're worse than recruits. You guys play like you should have been playing be playing the game. And yeah, you guys are, you know, six, seven years old, one or two years old, eleven, fifteen, sixteen years old. You guys think you're awesome at the game. I I gotta show you guys how to play the game. Oh, I really do. Six on six. Pretty sure that's how that is. Score uh specialists really doesn't matter. The specialists are throwing you off too. The specialists are throwing you off. You, you guys got to play in a certain way to mess up how to play Call of Duty in a very fundamental and original way. You guys got to jump around and use your heat wave or go up and stab people. Man, that, uh, back in Call of Duty 1, you know, there was no multiplayer until Call of Duty 2, 3, somewhere around there. You weren't running up to people and hitting them in the face you do that when you run out of ammo come on baby but let's get this game going score streaks are all right let's get let's wait for the countdown you know what i'm saying like you, you young boys gotta learn i gotta learn how to do this right all right i'm going to way way back like it's the first time you're holding a controller now I'm not sure about the future, but I'm not sure about buying the Xbox One and the PS4 because I do have both. Now, let me unplug this. That will pop up. I'm using Xbox. I said that from before. I'm on Xbox. Xbox One. I bought Xbox, the first Xbox. You just say Xbox. Then the 360. You say 360, That's Xbox back. One. And here I am. I have the PS1 I still. I still have the PlayStation 1, the very first PlayStation. Um, still have it. I gave away my PS2 for money, gave away my PS3 for money, and I have the PS4. I'm not going to unplug it to show you because it's actually in rest mode, so there's no point in that. I can go ahead and go. Now, the way you hold the controller. Here's the Xbox One. Here it is. You hold it, you hold it like, originally like this. There this is go. how you hold the controller. I'm not sure what you guys are doing the way you playing. I don't know if you're holding a controller like this and playing, thinking it's funny. Man, it's fun. Now, now don't get this wrong. Don't get this video wrong. You can have fun. But the thing is, you guys are messing up and messing around too much. Like, I'm not sure if you actually bought the game, but you're wasting your parents' money. If you bought the game, you're wasting your own money. Man, like, hey, it's good to have fun, you know, psychologically. Have fun. But learn how to play the game correctly. Go ahead and play that game, baby. Just learn how to play that game. You're here. Hold controller correctly. Not like this. Like this. Hold it correctly. You can have your index finger on the bumpers. Your middle finger on the triggers. Hold it like this. This is the best way to hold it. Now everyone holds it like this. Both your well, both your index fingers are using both the bumpers and the triggers. Okay, that's fine. Everyone's used to it. I'm used to it. I sometimes even go to this, the original way of holding the, the uh, controller. You can hold it like that. It's the same, you know, same size than the PS4. On so the PS4, it's wider, feels more competitive. Same thing. It's more room to hold it like this, the original way. You can still go both your index fingers on both the bumpers and the triggers. You know, buttons, buttons, all that, you know, all that good stuff. That's from reading the manual. Now let's go into the actual game. Alright. Uh, is it working? I'm here. Okay. Here we go. I have the KN. Now he's on recruit, so I'm not going to do spins like how you kiddies doing. All the spins and jumps, there's no point in doing that. Uh. Now when you play, you want to go for the head. Directly for the head. You know, I bullshit it right there. You know what I'm saying? But scratch all that. I put on recruit because you want to come over here and just aim. You can do it without bots too. You can just do it without bots. It's much easier. But here, I'm, I'm gonna see how you, you. Some of you guys actually play like that. <laughs> you just pass by somebody. When you want to hold down the left trigger, you start aiming. You start aiming, Seriously. shooting at a spot where you can aim at. And then you want to start, you know, moving side to side, moving side to side. 
This is very basic. Move it side to side, move it side to side. Then you want to turn using the right analog stick and turn. You know what I'm saying? Some of you kids want to jump and turn and jump and turn. And now you got jumping. You can jump in the air and do it. And jump and do a 360 and then kill yourself. But no. You want to go up. Let's do it without jumping. Let's, let's go up the stairs. Go up here. Want to get positioning. Here's one mental thing you should do. Always get positioning. Communicate. Communicate with your team. You know. Originally, you guys should be making a line. Right here. One guy should be here. Looking out. Looking across. One guy should be up top. One guy should be bottom. This house. One guy should be over here. Looking across for that guy. Looking across for you. That's a whole line. You guys should be running out like this. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be going straight to the middle and then looking for people like this and doing all this stuff and going crazy. Make a line. Make a line. Oh, that's so original. Make a line. Make a line across the map. Use the map in the top left. You can kind of see it, but eh. In the top left, make a line. Make a line. Just make a line. That's all you got to do. Make a line. Make a line. Make a line. That's all you gotta do. Because you cover each spot. You cover each advantage point. You cover each blind spot of your teammates. It's better for you. It's better, you know, to stay alive. You don't wanna go out. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of kills, but you died so many times. And then you kids worry about KD. It's not about the KD. It's about winning games, in my opinion. You know, the KD, yeah, you wanna go out for a little clan. You know, do your little fun, little clan fun. Gotta have a certain KD, yeah, sure. But this video will teach you how to get a good KD. This will teach you how to get a get a good KD. Get a get a get a get a get a. Get a. You know, then you have your specialists that I have right here. You know, you don't want to worry about that. You want to worry about the basics. All right, so that's the line. That's the line. Now, when you move up. When you move up and you don't really have communication, you want to move up and know your surroundings. There's a guy right there, know your surroundings. Pay attention to your map. That's one thing you guys don't do. Pay attention to your map. Top left. I'm not sure you can change it. I didn't look at it, but the top left. Go up. Always look at it. Glance at it. Quick eyes. Quick eyes. Top left all the time. Sometimes you want to turn your head and look at it like this. But that's for beginners. You just want to look at it real quick. Not all the time. Sometimes you want to study the map for a good two seconds just to know where the people are. You want to keep on looking in the map. Keep checking. Always check the map. Always check it. Always look at the map. If you have the map, check it. Now in hardcore, which I'll go into later on and maybe another video. Hardcore, you don't have the map. But that's when you have to communicate. But people still don't do it. They don't care. They just like wasting their parents' money or wasting your own money. Going up, playing like a jackass. Screwing other people over. Now, a little bit about me. I used to be a tryhard. So I know all about this. All about making the line. Communicating. Going to parties if kids are annoying. Like I know all about this. I used to try real hard. Uh, a little like I see it as a season so like mid season for black ops one and all of black ops 2 I used to be a full tryhard you know like me saying season as in the time of which the next game will come out so the middle of black ops 1 and all of black ops 2 used to be a full tryhard used to come home and just play black ops 2 all the time that was bad <laughs> I got better things to do I, I was this was before streaming before YouTube and so I was just basically giving someone else my money and a whole lot of my time a whole lot of my time a whole lot but you want to pay attention to your map man I, I used to be a full tryhard man it's all in my mind it's all it's all muscle memory man at first it'll be hard for you guys I understand but you, you have to learn how to play the game correctly Making the line, communicating, dropping down, knowing the spawns. Alright, now that, that's good for this map. I need another map to teach you guys about the spawns. 
Yeah, you could learn about the spawns on here, but it's really simple. There's no substitute for the thrill of the kill. They spawn on one side, on the left, and they spawn on the right. And then if you go too deep, they spawn up. And then they're kind of in the middle, looking at the middle. Same thing for the other side, spawning left and right, deep. If you're in the spawn, or too, too much into the spawn. They spawn behind you and looking into the middle, but any normal person will turn around and go back. All that person doesn't care and just keeps on running. Now that's spawn trapping. You know, making the line, not moving up, demolition, safeguard, spawn trapping. Uplink, I'm pretty sure too, you can spawn trap. You spawn on the same side the whole round. Spawn trapping, make the line. You know, yeah, it's funny when people get thirsty and then you run in like this, like, <laughs> and you run in like this and they get all the kills, you know, and they make excuses like, oh, I got bored, oh, I want to do it, oh, I got to go, so I want more kills, or anything, but it's pretty funny, like, the line is very important in Call of Duty. <laughs> if there wasn't a line in the military or the, the Navy or the Army, uh, a lot of our soldiers would have sucked in real life. Like, this is all related to real life. If someone's just making money off and making it into a video game. If people didn't make the line, this is why I'm seeing the line a lot. If people didn't make the line and people were just scattered over the place, like how you see everyone else playing, <laughs> you are being picked off each time. Making the line, if someone kills someone from the line, someone, a part of that line is going to see you and pick you off. That's why the line is so important. And there's a line, there's another line. That's more like real life, but there's one line in Call of Duty, and there's one line, you should keep that line. And then once you move up in Team Deathmatch, I'm talking about more. In Team Deathmatch, you, once you move up, someone has to yell out, spawn, or spawn switch, or next spawn. The spawn is more common. But spawn flip is more common than that. If someone yells that, the guy furthest back is gonna have to react first because he's gonna be the one picked off. You have to communicate. Let's go into this one map. Not DLC. Let's go to a map that everyone should have. Let's go to this one. Let's make it regular, make it a little bit harder so it'll be a little bit faster. They're harder and faster. Still team deathmatch. Classes the same. It's really the same. Specialists, don't worry about that. I'm on the basics for your young bloods. Skill. Okay. Yeah, man. When someone like the when the whole line moves up, it has to be the whole line, not just one person. If someone kind of knows what they're talking about. Of Call of Duty and they have the line with their friends and they move up and they say all right one person go in there and just take out everybody will look the other way not nah, that's not true but that person has to be great at killing off the whole team if he's gonna do that and then everyone else turns around and picks off everybody the whole to be safe the whole line has to move up if you want to flip the spawn and kill off everybody and then the guy furthest back from the map this is when you have to be good at reading the map you have to turn around because you're going to be the one picked off. Depends on the surroundings and where you are on the map and what kind of map it is. Let's go to the CUDA. I was just using a assault rifle. But yeah, like aiming at first, what I said, like aiming at the wall and just seeing the recoil really helps. Practice. It's all about practice. Never go straight into a match, everybody. Oh, jeez. Now, you want to move up. I want to see if I can catch up with these bots. You want to move up. And this is kind of a line. Okay, you want to move up and control your spot. Control your line. One across, one across. See? They could have controlled their spot. So you want to refill. Refilling is key in the line. You have to refill in that line. Because there's tons of soldiers in the army. They refill for taking soldier spots. You refill, you see the line up, you move up with the line. Sometimes it doesn't matter, sometimes you want to tell them to come back. But once it's flipped, someone has to yell, flip, 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 spawn flip, spawn something. You want to control it. One guy here, one guy in middle. 
one, one guy in this building, one guy directly in the middle, one guy far end, maybe another. Yeah, four people. Four, uh, five people, sorry. Five, five people. And you're there making the line. And you're up. That's all, really. Good example here. You want to walk in, people are going to be in a corner. You got to check your corners. Got to learn how to check your corners. You want to run in, glance at the corner. Run up more, glance at the corner. Here we go, here we go. See? Check your corners. If you ran straight in, let's replay this. If you ran straight in, if you ran straight in, you would have never saw, you would have never saw the door. You would have ran straight in. Kind of look around, look around. Don't run straight in like a bot. Don't run straight in like this. And look up. Or like, look down like this. And don't, don't do that. You want to look, check your corners, keep moving. Get into positioning first. Some people say in search as well. Get into positioning first. That's not fully true. That's true in a, in a sense, but that's not fully true because you want to move up. And you want to have the sense of where they are and then get positioned. No, just run into a position and not know where they are. It just doesn't make any sense. I tried telling somebody that. He was like, no, no, no. That's not true. You don't know what you're talking about. Um, uh, no, I, I do, because that makes no sense. <laughs> I actually listened to him once. I ran to a spot, and someone was there at the spot first, and I got killed. You have to know where the teammates are. Your teammates and the other team. You have to know where they are. See if they use their blasters, now in this game, and in Advanced Warfare, use their blasters. There's a little ping on the map. It tells you where they are, unless they have blast suppressor, then you don't know. Well, originally footsteps. Oh, footsteps were so classic, especially in Black Ops 2. Black Ops 1 and oh, Black Ops 1, you can hear them on the other side of the map. Black Ops 2, a little bit, you know, a little bit less than that. But if you just sound horror, it's kind of the same thing. Come over here, you hear footsteps everywhere. If they don't have that sounds, they have footsteps. Doesn't matter what specialist or whatever. Specialist doesn't matter in that sense. They have it. They have the footsteps, so you want to listen out for the footsteps. That's why I got this sexy, sexy headset, the A50s. The A50s. So nice. You hear the footsteps, right? You hear the footsteps? You want to react. And here another part. Here's another part of communication. You can tell your whole team, your full team. You should have a full team. Your full team to run dead silence. So anytime you hear footsteps... Boom, you're reacting, you're shooting like this. Ah, ah, and that's one part. Don't, never, never shoot like this. Depending on the type of Call of Duty, if you shoot crazy, you'll lose a gun battle. Is the aim on and stay with them the whole time. Like, stay on this, stay on this yellow. Going back to the wall, stay on this yellow. Aim all on the yellow. Aim all on the yellow, even though it's moving. You know, that motherfucker's gonna jump in the air because, you know, he just wants to. It's part of the game, so. Make sure you're aiming right on the yellow, right on that person. You're aiming, you're aiming, you're aiming. Boom! Get down, Charlie Brown! Ah! Uh, and once you run out of ammo, you, you gotta you gotta scrap, you gotta scrap, you gotta go, you gotta hit, you gotta hit, you gotta scrap, you gotta punch, you gotta stab, you gotta do whatever you got in your arsenal. You gotta aim on the blue, aim on the blue, stay with that person. Always stay with that person, man. Don't aim and aim up. Or I see so many people do this. It's horrible. You run in a room, you see him, but you chase him. Oh my God! I've been raging on stream and off stream about this. You don't run at the person. You don't run at the person when you see him, and say hello. Can I have a handshake? Can I have a high five? No, you don't, you don't do this. See how you died? Watch. I'll do it again. I'll find somebody. This is horrible. This is tragic in all your gameplays. It is horrible. Let me find somebody real quick. Let me find somebody real quick. Let me find somebody. Oh my god, why would you run? You ran out into the open and out straight to him. That's how you play. Right there, right there. That's how you guys play. It's horrible. God, like you wanna take cover. Be behind something. Be behind something. Take cover. Shh. Slay, 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 sway, sway, sway. Whatever you say, whatever you call it. 
You want to be behind something at all times. Now, when you widely open like this, sometimes you got to improvise. Sometimes you got to improvise and go to prone. Drop shot is called. Drop shot him. Or you want to jump shot him. Drop shot. Jump shot. You want to go ahead and jump, I guess. I hate the jumping in this game. I really do because it's not really part of Call of Duty. But you want to jump. You want to drop. You want to do whatever. All right? Stay with the guy, stay with the guy, communicate. All these things count. Sometimes when he's so close to you, don't aim in because it's going to slow down your aim like this. And see how my aim is faster now? When I'm aiming in, it's slower because, well, yeah, it's supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to, like, aim like this and, like, oh, crazy. Hip fire, hip fire, hip fire, hip fire, hip fire. And when he's so close to you, don't aim in because you're, then you're going to aim over his shoulder or past him. And then he's going to go to the side like this and then kill you like that. Hip fire, hip fire, hip fire. He was too far, so I had to aim in. No one to aim in and no one to hip fire. That's a big part. See, look. You got to scrap sometimes. You got to scrap. You got to. Boom, right there. See? Clueless. He walked this way. Sometimes you gotta go around your surroundings and juke him out. I love juking kids out on our stream. Cause I'll go here, I see him, I'll go this way, but I juke. That's not that big of a, of a step, actually. I messed it up. But you see him, you go like this. And he's chasing you like, like a dummy. He's doing this. Oh, I got you now. Cause he doesn't know how to aim his gun. He's, he's chasing like this. He's, he's chasing, no chase. You, you gotta, if he's, if he's trying to juke you out, if you see me juking you out, if you see me doing this, you gotta back up. You gotta back up and aim at whichever. Cause if you're here, it's gonna take longer to aim at the corners. You know what I'm saying? It's all about mentality, man. It's all about being strong. I see this a lot too. Like, read a book. Uh, reading helps. Yeah, you wanna play the game, have fun, but you wanna read and have knowledge. Learn how to speak, learn how to talk, learn how to think. Know how to think. Know it. Because muscle memory. So once you play the game, it's so easy because you're not overthinking, you're not playing like a kid. It's an M rated game, man. I know there's kids playing this game, but you guys gotta, you guys, you little kids gotta play like grown men. You know? I know you're a kid, you wanna have fun, but start thinking like a grown man. Stop thinking ahead of your, ahead of your age because it will help you in the future. Oh, here we go. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Got juked out. See, he got juked out. He went that way. He looked that way. I'm over here backing up. Juke. Here we go. Here we go. Aim on him. Aim on him. Always aim for the head too. I always aim for the head. I always go for the head. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? No, have the sense. Have the sense. Reading helps. Eating your vegetables. That is real. Believe your parents. It's in books. It's in. It's on the TV. The TV. TV brainwashes you. But uh, here we go. He didn't see me. You want you want you want to follow him. You want to follow him to his to his clan, to his teammates, and kill them all off too. That's that's another trick. But vegetables do help with your mind and reading before you even play the game. Now back to the game, like that. You want to chase somebody to his team, to his teammates, to his clan, whatever. You want to get more out of what you see. You want to wait. You want to wait. Hit fire. See, so close. You want to hit fire. Got avenge. Here we go. See. He had, he had a assault rifle or an LMG, whatever. A gun that handles range. He had me. You know, depending on the, the type of skill you have between yourself and that guy, you could have had him, you know. Could have had him, boom, boom, boom. Had him with the chest, because his chest was showing. His chest and his shoulders and his head. You want to shoot up there. That's why shooting up high, up here, up in the head, will help. Some of you kids aim at the ground, aim, aim at the, the knees. Like There is no challenge, no reward, no nothing when you aim like that. When you get a headshot, you get a medal. When you get a double kill or triple kill or four kill in a row, it's called a theory kill. The five is a frenzy. You know, those are medals. You want to go for medals. You don't want to be second place, baby. You want to go for medals. You want to go for championships. Don't be basic. Don't do all the errors. Replay this video and it will help you. It will help you how to play Call of Duty the right way. I have to. I have to by someone's request. 
right in my stream so uh, shout out to you my friend but uh i was gonna eventually do this but i'll do it now just for you guys you know what i'm saying that is now uh, for the spawns for team deathmatch that is what it is and other videos i'll go into you know i'll go to like the other maps but now in the game modes i'll go into like free for all and search and domination more that's more in the summer you know what I'm saying? But this is, this is wonderful, man. Like, if you just learn how to play and replay this video, you will learn how to play Call of Duty the right way. I've been using the pistol recently. And when I use the pistol, this pistol, the first pistol, I've been using this pistol. And it's OP, as you kids say. I aim, and it's so fun to use because I'm swaying, I'm swaying, I'm jerking, I'm going to side to side. I'm just killing all people. I got uh, either 53 or 59 and 20 something deaths with a full team. You know, when you when you know the game and when you have people that know the game, the game becomes much, much easier. It really does. It becomes much easier. Instead of playing with randomers who don't know what a controller means or is, or when you play with your friends and you don't know what the game is either. It's very hard because now you go into arguments and controversies and you did this, you did that. No, baby. You gotta, sometimes you gotta blame yourself even though you, you know you did nothing wrong and learn how to teach your teammates if there's no other leader and lead them into victory and lead them in how to play the game. Because you, you don't want to... You don't want to just sit there and be like, it's kind of like being on the bench and not playing. You're just like, because baby, you're not doing anything to make the cause better for you and your team and people around you. Come on, man. You want to, you want to go off on streaks. You want to win all the time, right? Deep down inside your head. Yeah. Because everybody is a winner, but with all the brainwashing and all the all the stuff in your face, all the all the things that are teaching you wrong, it really becomes hard to win. It's all about winning. I, I was brought up that way. It's all about winning. It's not about losing. It's about getting better, making people better, helping out people, helping out people under you, winning, helping out people over you, teaching them a few things, you know, if they don't know or don't remember. It's about winning. It's about getting up in the world. It's about having fun. Yeah, but you want to play the right way. You want to play the right way, baby. That's really all the, the fundamental and the mental side. Now, let me go into sniping now. I went to assault rifles. It's the same thing. Submachine guns. It's the same thing, you know. You have to aim your gun, head fire, Know your surroundings, make the line, communicate with your team. Let me go into, uh, see, the same thing with light machine guns. I'll do shotguns later on, but let's go to sniping. Now, this is a rapid fire sniper, as I call it, because the fire rate is high. And all these are low, or they're supposed to be. This is this, the Locust is a original sniper. Now, I'm not sure it's the actual army name. Now, Call of Duty has been putting in actual army name snipers into the game and actual their actual way of looking, but I'm not sure about these. Let's go to the Dracon. And since I'm done with at least some machine guns and assault rifles, you know, aim in, hip fire, communicate, you know, drop shot, jump shot. You know, all those. It's just about practice. It's about doing this. Going to custom games up over there. You can't see it, but I'm in custom games. You want to go in custom games and put the put on a normal game, team de a team death match, or something you're already used to. Go to that domination, search, whatever demolition. You want to put it on recruit. Please, just put it on recruit at first. You don't want to. I know you don't want to. I don't feel like it, but. I put on recruit, recruit, dominate, use all your fundamentals, dominate and recruit, then go up a level, it's that simple, don't go straight into a match facing people worse, like even horrible, worser than you, people that are the same level than you, or people that are better than you, you know, 
just go and practice first. It's about preparation. It's about preparation. It's not about going straight into the game and got your ankles all shaking, your and your knees are weak and you're fragile and you're 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 just disgusting looking. Getting no cheerleaders on that night, young boy. You're getting no cheerleaders, all right? You want to go and practice. You want to go and, like, work on your fundamentals. You want to go and go on recruit. Use your fundamentals, the way of your thinking. Get your team in it, too. Get your team in the custom games. Get your team in it. Dominate and recruit. I want to see motherships everywhere. Send it to me on Twitter. Motherships everywhere. Regular. Same thing. Use your fundamentals. Communicate. I got him. I got him. Down, 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 down. Up, up, up. Spawn, flip. One in the corner. One up top. Down low. He's there. He's there. Turn around. Sometimes you got to yell. Sometimes you got to yell. But it's all right. Because you're making each other better. Harden. Same thing. It's going to be harder because it's Harden. It's in the name. Harder. But you want to make each other better. You want to practice. You want to know where they are. Now, it's going to be different. You know, the bots and the multiplayer. It's going to be different. But you want to know how to play the game. You want to work on your fundamentals that I said from before and put that into action. And veteran, the last one. Kind of like real life play, but they're still bots. Now, when you put it on hardened and veteran they're gonna know where you are because they're bots and that hasn't really changed i thought it would have changed at, at this point but they kind of know where you are so you have to act like the person there the team knows where you are it's there to help you in a sense but they really do know where you are in another sense so just work on that now with sniping i got my dracon on and something done with this Let's choose a sniper that is a really fire rate happy. This fires out a lot of bullets, and this is, in my opinion, the strongest one. Let's just go to the locust. Let's just go there. I got my diamonds. If you guys want to see my diamonds, I don't know. Well, it's not letting me choose my diamonds, but okay, whatever. <laughs> I have diamonds, and I'm working on dark matters, but I'll probably have it after this video is looked at. Locust, low fire rate, and the Dracon over here. So let's choose another map since we used it. I'm going to have like a, a feel and a sense of the maps. But this is me teaching you and showing you how to do it correctly. If you guys go into it and do it yourselves, it's like, it's like harder. But once you put the work in, it becomes easier and easier. And once you go out, you have the sense and the fundamentals to win. Once you use the multiplayer, you're dominating. You're having a four or five score per minute. You, your team is magnificent. You guys are balling. You guys are dominating. You guys are ripping people apart. Like, move. 100, 200 pounds. Get out my way. You know, when you want to dominate. You want to have a feel. Let's go to Metro. A map not too many people like. Sometimes you got to go there. And just work on all the maps. You got to go and work on all the maps. Now, since I'm a veteran, I'm a veteran teaching you guys. I'm telling you guys the truth. I went to campaign first on Black Ops 3. I went to campaign first, had a feel of it. And then I went straight into multiplayer. I didn't do all this because I did all this before. I did it in Modern Warfare 1. I, like, I was at my friend's house when I played it. I was like, no, I want to have a feel of a game. So I went... And went into like little custom games or whatever you call it back then. And they're, my friends were getting annoyed. Yeah, like, come on, bro. Just play the game. It's just a game. Yeah, it's just a game. But I want to play the game correctly. I don't want to waste your time or waste your parents' money or my own money just to bullshit and do spins. You can download a program for free and make a game in where you can do it yourself. You can spin anytime you want. You put $60 so a hundred dollars into this game just to not win just to not play the game correctly come on baby come on man you did all that you put all that much money just the bullshit come on man sorry for the language hey man i'm just i'm just being real at times you gotta you gotta curse and be real man but hey 
Not too many people like it. I like it a little bit, but not like the other maps. I like DLCs, like Skyjack. It's like Hijack on Black Ops 2, you know. Metro, all right, I'll work on that. You know what I'm saying? Going to Metro. And liking that. And then sometimes a map you don't like, you end up liking Hey, it's like with a girl or a boy. You don't like the girl or boy, but eventually once you get older, once you're, or you're with that person around, you know, around that person more, you end up liking the person, you end up knowing the person more, you know, like, you, you don't, you don't want gossip going, and then all the gossip's in your head, and it's like, oh, I don't like you because I heard this and this about you. No, you want to actually get to know the person. If you're so worried about the person, get to know the person. Let's go with the Dracon first since it's the first sniper in the game. You know, don't forget to put on your headset. Sometimes even once you're used to the steps and the footprints, if you use tracker, if you're used to like hearing the sound of the the steps and their loud fat feet, you wanna sometimes just take off the headset and just be like, alright. I know where you're gonna be. I know where you're gonna be. If this is for you when you're really used to it, this is when you're a regular in the game, not a, a beginner, not a beginner. But I'm really teaching everybody overall, not just recruits or beginners, whatever you want to say. I'm teaching everyone overall, just to enhance your skills or just to teach you new things that you never knew. All right, well, now with a sniper, <laughs> you want you wanna. With a sniper, you want to come over here and aim like a beast. Ho ho ho! Want to get hungry sometimes, baby. Want to get hungry. Want to get hungry sometimes. And uh, you want to have your headset off if you know the timing of the train. But whatever. Uh, that's that's just a map thing. But you want to aim. Now, what you aim, you don't want to sit and have that happen. Perfect timing. You don't want to sit and have that happen. You want to be aware of the map and aware of the sound of the feet. You want to be aware of your surroundings and the sounds around you. Boom, boom, boom. You don't have to put all the bullets of your clip into one person sometimes. Hey, right there, the song, but it was too late. Sometimes you get killed, man. It's all good. Sometimes you get killed. That's when you get better. Sometimes some people have the range to get better. Some people have to just accept that you got killed right there. It just depends on your mentality, on your way of thinking. I do it all. I'm very unpredictable, so I'll be like, "All right, no, I should have got you," and then like, "All right, yeah, you got me, you got me," you know. And just like, the way you think. I play with people that just have the range to get better. I'm like, "All right, range, no big deal." <laughs> know your surroundings now. With quick scoping, I'll go into that with the locust because you can quick scope with this. It's a little bit harder since the fire rate is not as strong, but if you're aiming directly at the head. If you're aiming directly at the head, you can just go ahead. Here's a head. Boom. Like that. Boom. 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 Sometimes you gotta talk too to yourself. You sometimes you gotta talk to yourself and be like, alright, I got here, here, here. I got red car, you got far end. I you we can look directly in the middle and pick off everybody because they're coming through that one door. You gotta say it out sometimes. You gotta say it out, and once you're used to saying it out, it becomes unspoken communication with your team since you're so used to playing with them. Like, yo, we got this. You can say that or just not say anything at all and be like, 70 kills right there. And demolition or domination, even team deathmatch if you're carrying your team. Boom, 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 Crisco, boom. The timing, you can drag scope. You can drag scope. You can quick scope, quick scope on a little point of the map. Quick scope, quick scope, quick scope, quick scope. You wanna drag scope? You wanna drag scope? Drag scope on that. Drag scope. Drag, drag, drag. Or just do a original normal human being uh, sniper kill. Just go to prone, aim in, wait for him. I do this a lot, off and off stream. You just wait for him, just boom, right there. Boom. Shoot him right there in the stump. Like that. Those are the fundamentals and basics of sniping. Quick scoping is it. Drag scoping and hard scoping is the basics. Quick scoping. 
Let me go get this weapon. Kill me! Kill me! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, now with the <laughs> with, with the locust, you you have to get him right back. Get him! Get him! Oh my God! I got bamboozled. Cool wheels. Boom. 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 Same thing. It, the difference is is the fire rate. You can horoscope, go to prone. You can drag scope, prone, whatever. Boom, drag, drag, drag. Sometimes when the guy's moving so much, especially with the jumping in this game, you have to drag scope. When he's not paying attention or you just got him like that. Scope. Quick scope like that. Quick scope. Just know the differences in the snipers. All snipers are the same. Just know the differences. The big difference is the Dracon and the Locust. The fire rate. The big obvious difference. You don't realize that? Like I said from before, read a book. <laughs> if you don't realize common, easy, right there in your face things, read a book. Reading helps, man. Don't go straight into video games. This is very educational for you guys. You'll go straight into reading a book, learning, learning about how to get better, and then when you have, when you want to have fun and play Call of Duty the right way, go ahead, and play it the right way. Don't play ugly. Don't play weird. If you just want to do that for a game, go ahead, but don't do it forever, <laughs> because it becomes muscle memory. And then once you start getting serious, it's very hard for you to get kills and you try to get into a uh, specific clan you can't because you've been messing around too much since I'm a try hard this is in my head I haven't messed around anymore I don't, I don't see a point in it anymore to mess around so I mess around I'll do it for my subs or on YouTube you know what I'm saying but other than that I'm just a very serious gamer you know especially when I actually bought the game this time hundred two dollars into it you know tax 102 so I'm I'm very serious very serious in a way that I still have fun in a way that I don't stress myself out stress you don't need stress in life you want to have fun you want to do things the right way you, you, you don't wanna you don't wanna uh, 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 yeah 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 smoke this weed blah 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 that's something different. You, you, whatever you want to do in life, enjoy it. But Call of Duty, playing the right way, I'm teaching you guys that in this video. But that's sniping, really. Quick scope, hard scope, drag scoping, tricks, tricks. You know, you can double tap Y, that's very classic. Double tap Y, scope, switch weapons, double tap on another weapon, go back. Scope or same thing, but double tap again in scope. So many tricks you can do. The tricks are just your imagination, you know. The double tapping Y is what you start with, and then so on and so on. Switching weapons, blah blah blah. Melee, 360. That's when you doing that. That's when you mastered your fundamentals, like how I did, like how many other people did, especially pros. When you want to do tricks, uh, trick shots. Master your fundamentals first and then go ahead and do it. Don't go straight into Whoa! Whoa! Doing a freaking tornado costing multiple fatalities. Like, damn. Learn your fundamentals first before you play the game. Communicate this and that. Uh, drop shot, jump shot, scope, hard scope, quit scoping. You can do quit scoping, yeah, but learn how to scope normally and then drag scope and then quit scope because you'll have to learn how to quit scope because they're not going to give you time to shoot them. You know, quick reactions is very important in this game. So, yeah, quit scoping is very important. The vital part in this game now, you want to quit scope. But first, you want to learn the basic, the very, very basic way of using the sniper. That's sniping. I'll do shotguns and then this video is about over. That's really all it is, man. It's really about using your brain when you play. You don't want to run out and do garbage things. Now, when I go to shotguns, it's kind of like the same thing of when you enter a room. Check your corners. Aim in first. When he's so close to you, just hit fire right there. 
Sometimes you gotta get the shot off instead of just aiming and then getting your shot off. You know? Sometimes you gotta, like, aim, but in that instant of aiming, you gotta shoot. So, know the aiming and the recoil of your gun. That's when aiming at the wall and knowing the gun comes in handy. Now, let's go here. Because this map, you have to run out and look for a room. If you're a shotgun person, you have to run out, look for a room, you know, to camp. Now, camping, people don't like camping. Whatever. You can do whatever you want in this game if someone bought it for you or not. You, you can do whatever you want in this game as long as you get the kills. Camping, now camping isn't really the way you play the game. But sometimes you have to camp to get your health back or energy back. Or you know when there's a mothership out, you don't want to run out and be like, I can take it out with my shotgun. What the fuck is that? I, I swear, people run out where there's a mothership, a veto warship, a freaking whatever you call any other games. Like, you don't run out and think you're going to take it out. Yeah, when a certain amount of people are spawning in a spot, you go to spawn somewhere else and then you can get a rocket on it at least. One or two rockets and then you'll die because he's going to see you. He sees a whole map when you have a mothership. Vito worship or whatever else it's called but you want to have the sense of just staying in a building don't give them the kill people will run out of buildings i had i got whatever you called on black ops one i got the highest streak and i was just murking kids i was like slap 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 kids were running out of buildings i i was distraught i was like <laughs> I, I, I was pretty sure I was killed everybody and I saw them running out. I was like, I still killed them. <laughs> I kept on going. I was like, I, I have to teach you this, but I have to teach in a, a different way now. I have to tell you guys, like, yo, don't run out of buildings. Stay in. Sometimes the game spawns you in the building to save you. It's there for you for a reason. Just stay in the building when somebody has a mothership. Or a veto warship. Just stay in the building or whatever you, else you, you, you call it there. Now with shotguns, I'm going to shotguns now. Just stay in the building when someone has that. Know the streaks. Communicate with your team as well. Communication is a big part, you know. With the, the dead silence or what kind of score streaks you have. People can mess with the map. Everybody can have UAVs, counter UAVs, and haters, or blackbirds, or Opero VSATs. Like, people can mess with the map if you communicate. Knowledge. Yo, let's mess with the map. UAVs everywhere. Fast UAVs, counters. They're not taking those out. If you see them taking it out, kill them. CSMO. Haters. Veto warships, blackbirds. Communication and knowing the game takes a big role. I was in this party, and I don't remember the names. So I can't really shout them out. I remember this party, and they were, they, I was so happy. I was happy deep inside my heart that they went to custom games, and they actually worked on search and destroy positioning. I was like, I was clapping mentally in my head. I wasn't clapping, but I was, mentally, I was like, mentally, I was doing this. Because people don't go into custom games no more, man. For me, well, for me saying that, for me seeing you guys the way you play, it just seems like you go straight into the game. And yeah, you guys commonly go straight into multiplayer and just play and get worse and worse in Call of Duty because you don't have the fundamentals. But. All the fundamentals and all the mental thing and all the ways of playing the game and all the right ways of playing the game I just said in this video it's the way you play Call of Duty bottom line the way you play Call of Duty now with shotguns the way you use a shotgun yeah you gotta spawn on this end you gonna spawn on the other end way over there oh 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 my god okay I wasn't really looking at that so I just gotta switch weapons but I was trying to say something. Okay. You're going to spawn over here. You're going to run into a building. Shotguns are a short distance. So you're going to have to 
run in the building, camp in the building, you know, back to camping. Sometimes you gotta stay in the corner or stay in plain sight, like how some people do, and just hit them like that. Go upstairs if it has that level. Camp there, camp here. You know what I'm saying? Like, learn how to camp. And you know when you when you start pissing people off and they just can't kill you when you're camping, you have to run out. People don't do this. They just like sitting there and pissing people off. But when they really got you and they really start like forcing people to communicate, like yo, let's get this guy, let's get this guy. That's communication. Let's get this guy, let's get this guy. Yeah, it's kind of shit communication. You don't know what guy you're talking about, but let's go in. Yeah, they're going to know what you're talking about. Like, the guy just killing off the whole team. Yeah, let's get that guy. That's communication. The whole team's going to come in. You're not going to kill the whole team. It's possible, but that just means they're that bad. If they kill off the whole team coming in through one door. Now, through one door, you can do it through one door. It's a little bit easier, but when they come in through this window and this window and this window, when they come in and kind of just look at you and kind of like, yeah, you're you're fucked. Yeah, they got you. So when you're here killing off people, you got to jump out the window, go downstairs, go into a next next room. This, this is well, how you should use shotguns. You should be in rooms and not really camping, but in the room as a place to stay. Not really sitting in the corner and just lurking the whole room, like cutting off all the openings to like each, each door of that room. That's night. Yeah, that's basically how you use shotguns. Now, people go out and just use it like it's an assault rifle. It's not an assault rifle, it's called a shotgun for a reason. So, you want to go out and use a shotgun that way that I just said. Boom! That was specialist. Specialist, you know. You can go into that little mode or into classically uh, custom games and just use a specialist. Learn how to use a specialist. It's about practice. It's about fundamentals. It's about all that. Fundamentals are sh supposed to be in your brain, drilled in your brain. That's why I'm saying it so much. Fundamentals, the line, communication. That's really, that's really all the video. Fundamentals, communication, the line, which is part of fundamentals, and communication. It's a big part. You can get double kills like that. One shot, one kills. This is the uh, challenges you need for the camos. Like, once you have the fundamentals, you can easily, easily start with an assault rifle, kill people off, look the other way, and kill one person at the bottom stairs just now, and one top. You can easily do that from practice. You have to practice first before you go into a game. Aim here, boom, switch weapons if you have to, run out of ammo, or you just like that. You just switch weapons. You got that style, you got that flair. That's fun. Style and flair. Oh, have so much fun with that. Aim at there. Oh, ooh, ooh, he just knew where I was, right? Boom, he just knew that. He kind of saw in his corner of his eye that he saw me. You gotta react like that sometimes. Like, oh no, I saw you, I saw you. Boom, you just kill him. A little crazy, and you think you saw somebody shoot the fucking wall. Like, don't do that. It's really about practice and all the fundamentals I say. It's very, very deep, very rich. You must, you must practice, you must use these fundamentals to become better. If you think you're good and you don't use these fundamentals, you're just not good. You, you got some play, you got some tricks, yeah, but using fundamentals, using communication, using the line with your team, then you put in flair and style, oh, you're magnificent, you're a pro, you can go for Faruko, for real, if you learn how to play the game correctly, instead of taunting and boasting and bragging about, oh, I can be Faruko, I just beat two-year-olds and I'm nine years old and I got 40 kills and 10 deaths. Nah, man, it's not about that. It's about the fundamentals and anything. And this is for for this is for shooting games. It's for sports. If you have strong fundamentals and you got some flair, you will make the highest league. It's about preparation, preparation, 
about being happy, about getting ready. It's it's all about that, man. It's all about that. You don't walk on the court. You don't walk on that field and just start throwing footballs or start kicking soccer balls or start shooting jump shots from three point. Preparation, preparation. Takes a big toll, man. Takes a big toll. They were no match for us. It really does. It really does, man. So that's it, really. <laughs> that's it. I get very emotional, very motivational, very inspiring to many people. I help very uh, many, many people out. So in this video now, I will help you how to play Call of Duty the correct way. I will go into each individual type of game mode. And once I do that, yeah, that's really it. Now with the specialist, you do that on your own. I don't like the specialist. I could teach you by request. I will, but for now, you can just look, do it on your own. Like it's obvious. Like the gravity spikes, you go up and stop the floor. I hate it, but that's not really part of Call of Duty. But it's in Call of Duty now, so I don't know what's going to happen to the definition of Call of Duty. That's it. I, I appreciate you guys. Uh, anybody who sees it, the whole world or just one person. Hey, I taught you how to play Call of Duty, man. That's how you play Call of Duty, by definition. That's really how you go after Call of Duty. The fundamentals, the line, the communication, everything that I said from before, all the little details, everything. Checking your corners, running out, head fire, aim in, know your guns, know each individual stat of the gun. Communication, oh God, whoo! Let's all use UAVs, counters. Then use one giant, giant score streak. It's all about that, man. But uh, I appreciate you guys. That's the whole video. Hopefully you learned something. Well, you did learn something. That's the definition and how to play Call of Duty. Going back into the oranges of Call of Duty. Learning how to play it. You know what I'm saying? Like That's how you do it, man. That's, that's really how you do it. More videos on the way. Uh, you can, the rules. Don't mess with the rules. One little thing. I'll go into these later on. And in other games. As well, how to play the actual game. And into like every little mode of the game. But that's the whole thing. That's how you play Call of Duty the right way. Go ahead and have fun, kitties, young bloods, whoever, green guys. You will not become a green guy. You will become that guy that is really good. You won't be called a green guy anymore. You'll be that guy that is amazing. That is amazing at the game. Like, yo, let's pick this guy up, man. I signed this guy to a Faruko. Let's assign this guy to Optic. Whichever clan, major clan is out there, or your little tiny clans are unknown. You know, as long as you have fun and play the game the right way, let's rage it for me. Let's rage it for the other real competitors and other real gamers that know how to play the game as well. Let's range, let's stress for them. Peace out.